Hello, you're welcome to this lecture. So in this section, we're going to create a record set in Amazon Route 53. As you can see, I'm still in the AWS Certificate Manager page. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this tab. All right. So at this, at this search bar, I'll just type Route 53. Okay, great. So this is Route 53 and I'll click on it. All right. So the record set will be creating. First of all, cre um, click on the hosted zone. I've clicked on that and to we'll click on the hosted zone we created. And over here, I'll just click on create record. All right. So over here, the type of record we'll be creating actually is CNAME record. This is it over here. I will select it. So what is CNAME record? Why are we using CNAME record? So here we're using CNAME record because it will actually help us to map our domain name to Amazon S3 bucket. So this way we can access our S3 buckets using the domain name, using our own domain name, right? Instead of using that long URL of our S3 buckets, which is very complex, we can actually map our domain name with that URL. Okay. So over here, I have, I need to, um, put in a subdomain. So I'll go over to the certificate manager. So we'll actually be using these two values here, the CNAME name and CNAME value. So I will copy out this name. So I just copied out the CNAME name and the CNAME value. As you can see, these are the, the values over here. The first one is the CNAME name. So I'll just copy this, but then I'm not copying everything. Okay. So one, all right. I won't copy this, the, the domain name. All right. I'll just copy the value from here to the end or from the end to this one. So I'll copy this and I'll go over to my record name and I'll paste this here. Ensure the dot doesn't follow it, all right? And as well, ensure it doesn't have any extra name. So I just want to confirm very well. Okay. So, and over here is the value. So I'll go back to get my value. So I'll copy this one here. I'll actually copy everything and I'll exclude the dots please don't copy the dots i'll copy this and go back and i'll paste this here ensure you don't have extra space so you don't have error okay so now that this has been done i will just click on leave every other thing as default so i'll click on create records Okay, so as you can see, record for my domain was successfully created. So going, going back to the certificate manager over here, you know, the thing has been showing pending. So actually it's supposed to validate. So this can take some minutes. I'll just pause this video and I'll come back as soon as it's validated. Thank you. So after waiting for about a minute, I refresh my page over here and I could see that the status has turned to issued and then we are good to go so um yours might take more than that all right so you just have to be patient so now in this section we are done we're done with creating a record set and we're able to validate our certificate all right thank you so much i'll see you in the next section thank you